So I'm going to take a look at some of the new uh, features of Cinema 4D version 15 and in this tutorial I'm going to uh, take a look at grass. So uh, grass, you can find it if you click and hold the floor object and we can see it here, grow grass. Right now we can't select it. So what we need to do first is create an editable object. So I'm going to create some kind of uh, plain object. And um, I'm going to make this editable by clicking here. So the next step is basically to uh, add the grass object. So I'm just going to click here and select grow grass. And grass is basically it's pretty primitive. Um, it's kind of useful, um, but it's yeah, it's pretty limited. And I guess it's kind of best used if you're kind of working on an architectural project and you just need some kind of grass on the lawn, something static pretty much. Uh, this is great. And it's a post effects shader. It's not actually a dynamic and it's not a geometry. So um, as you can see, we can't see it in the viewport. And the only way we can see this is to uh, render the scene. And now we can see the grass. And you can hit Alt R, bring up the interactive render and that's a good way to kind of work, especially if you've got a fast machine. So I'm just gonna bump the quality up to maximum and now we can see our grass. So I'm just gonna go through uh, very briefly the settings. So we can add a color texture. Um, let me try noise map. And it's basically applying this noise map here to the grass. Um, I might just change up the colors something like that and uh, let's have a look let's make it a bit smaller um, let's try a gradient so that's a gradient so pretty straightforward it's just a color texture and uh, mix strength so we can mix it with the original color um, here it's pretty straightforward as well might just choose something a bit more interesting here um, let's see effects effects no not subsurface scattering might just choose the noise map again um, give it an interesting noise yeah Something like that, yeah, okay. So I'm using this original color and then a color texture and I'm, I'm basically mixing between the two. So blade length, uh, pretty straightforward. Increase that and the grass grows and you can animate this. Uh, blade width is obviously the thickness. So if you look down here, um, I'm gonna make this something really high like nine. And now the grass is very thick. And you don't have to just, you can use this for anything. It doesn't have to be grass. It can be fur, although it's not going to be dynamic. But um, I'm just going to put this back to two. Density is quite useful. It's um, basically literally the density. So if you increase this, then it gets more and more dense. Um, and then I'm just going to skip this for now, density texture. But uh, crinkle, very briefly, just kind of... Um, kind of makes it curly almost. Bend is pretty straightforward. Problem with bend is even if you go up to 100% it only bends like a certain amount which is this. This is the maximum and you can't go beyond 100%. Then wetness is basically just a texture kind of uh, effect so it kind of basically makes it a bit more shiny when you increase the wetness like that. So some very basic parameters and um, density texture is basically we can choose like a gradient um, and as you can see now it's using this map so if there's a black area there's no grass there and then in the white areas there's a lot of grass and that's what a density map does so I can change this to a radial um, sorry circular and I'm just going to invert this like that. 
and now we can see uh, there's no grass on the edges. So you can use this to basically define your kind of grass area. Um, a little bit of turbulence maybe, just to kind of scatter it. And then um, what you can do if you really want is to animate this. So I can just place a keyframe here. Actually, I might just make this a lot smaller like that. And then place a keyframe here like that. And then if we play this back, the grass kind of animates on, although you can't see it here uh, in real time. Let me just take a look. So if you right click here and choose animate, this is basically the animation and grass is gonna kind of grow out in these white areas. So I might actually just render this seam to show you the final result. So um, I basically rendered this scene to the picture viewer and I'm just gonna play this back. You can see the grass kind of spreading out. So this doesn't look very good. The grass seems to be changing position in each frame. And uh, so even the animation doesn't look too good. So we can't really use this in an animation capacity either, unless you're simply animating like the bendiness or the, you know, one of these options here, just directly, but uh, the density map, the density texture doesn't seem to animate too well. So um, yeah, it's basically a pretty limited kind of tool, but if you need some quick kind of long grass for an architectural project, it's great. But uh, otherwise I'd just probably stick with hair. Cinema 40 already has a really good um, hair tool, which I'd kind of use instead, to be honest. I was working um, on dynamics so your hair tools are here simulate hair and the good thing about hair is basically you can replace the geometry as well you can kind of replace the grass with flowers or anything like that so um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick introduction to the grass tool and uh, thanks for watching